Okay, I said I was going to put this at the end of the other video, but I decided to break it into a separate video. Uh, and uh, this is an activity related to the fraction class we talked about in, uh, in a lecture video. You can get the fraction class. It's got a few of the methods I showed you in lecture completed, like it's got its default no args constructor. It's got a uh, constructor here that takes a, a numerator and denominator. It's got a copy constructor. It's got our private helper method that reduces a fraction to the lowest terms. And then I've completed the multiply and the division uh, class and a two string method. So let's go ahead. Uh, it should run. I've put in stub methods and you can see it just uh, doesn't do stuff like one half does not equal two force uh, and so on. So we need to implement some of the other methods. Let's uh, start, I don't know, I guess we'll start at the top, start with the equals method. Now there's uh, some decisions to be made about exactly how equals should work. Um, you know, one option would be to, um, you know, so it's not working for one half is not equal to two fourth, and really that should be uh, considered equal. And if we want to use our reduce method, one option would be to uh, reduce our cells as well as call reduce on the other guy. Okay. Um, and then once we have the two fractions in the lowest terms, then we can compare the numerators and the denominators. So what we could do is we could compare our numerator to the other guy's uh, numerator. Okay, and those have to be equal. And we can compare our denominator to the other guy's denominator. So if both those things are true, then this will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. And uh, that will work. It does change, uh, it does mutate these uh, fraction objects were passed into the, the equals method, which might not be expected behavior. Um, and I could show you, I mean, if you want to leave the fraction objects objects alone and still make use of your uh, code and your reduce method, one way you could do this is uh, take, uh, take the uh, other fraction and convert it so we could create a new fraction object, a local variable called f1, and pass it to the copy constructor and then call reduce on that fraction f1 and then the slightly tricky bit is I need to create one a fraction uh, for myself it's a copy of myself and I'll call that f2 and what I need to do there is instead of passing it a, uh, a the other object I pass it to this pointer and this is always a, 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 a handle for yourself and so this refers to the fraction object that's running the equals method and so that makes a copy essentially of the the fraction object that is running the method and then we can reduce that one and then instead of doing um, other here we can compare f1 and f2 and f1 denominator and f2 denominator and there we go this is an equals method that doesn't modify so it still returns these are equal but it doesn't change those into lowest terms and uh, these are some of the design decisions you get to make as the the builder of the fraction class what does it mean you know should should I leave this thing at two fourths or should I make it re reduce it if it goes to the equals method another choice would be to come up into the the um, constructors for the method and always um, add you know add a reduce call you know here and then we'd never have a fraction that wasn't in lowest terms um, and you know, those are all the decision, different decisions you could make. All right, let's go ahead and do, we'll just do reciprocal because that's uh, quite easy. All we need to do to take the reciprocal is uh, flip the numerator and the denominator. So we simply uh, take our denominator and send it as a numerator for a new fraction and the numerator and send it as a denominator. And now reciprocal will work. Um, I don't think we can actually see it working if we look at the... Uh, test main here this is printing out at the very end after um, it's done a bunch of stuff and those other methods aren't implemented yet so it's still uh, it's just taking the reciprocal of 0 over 0 so we'll see if that works uh, after we do the sort of the tr two tricky ones or somewhat tricky are the add and the subtract and how do we how do we add two fractions well um, you know if you recall from your math if you want to add uh, one half and two thirds. We we'd find a common denominator um, two times three, so uh, six. And so the left hand side here would be um, three six plus. Um, this would be four six. And so we want to do the same operation. So sometimes if you're, you're developing some code and you're not quite sure, um, you know, what to put as code, it's helpful to look at a simple example and try and make it do the right thing. So for example, in the the 
the code I have highlighted in the console, I want a new denominator, which is um, the denominator of the one fraction times the denominator of the other ones. And, and in this code, this denominator here is 2. That's, uh, say, this fraction, denom, and other denominator is 0. So we're going to end up with a d of 6. Now we need the two upstairs. And so let's find the numerator of the guy on uh, the left. Okay, And he's our fraction, so he has his uh, current numerator. Right, but he needs to multiply himself. So we had a we converted this guy to six, and so what do we have to multiply by? We had to multiply by the denominator of uh, that other guy, and similarly the other half, the two thirds on the right. That numerator, okay, it's going to start at the other dot numerator, and we multiply that by the denominator of the left hand side. All right, so. In our example, this would end up being uh, 3, and then this guy would be, what is it, 4. And now how do we add? Well, we just add n1 and n2 as the numerator, and we put that over d. All right, and if we do that, OK, you can see we get 7, 6 there. Um, the only thing about this, right, is it might not return something. So in this case, uh, 7, 6, uh, yeah, that's in. Uh, lowest terms, but maybe we want to make sure the addition ends up that way. So what we could do is create a fraction object f equals new fraction, okay, and then call reduce on that, and then return f. Now subtract. Pretty similar, you know, and you could, you know, another decision you'd, you'd have to make, you know, when you build this class. Oh, what happened there? I don't know what happened there. Something weird. All right, let's go back. Um, one thing we could do is, you know, use add or something. Use the add method inside the subtract method. Okay, or another option. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, copy the code and change change the sign. So, um, you know, arguably a little little bit of repeated code there. Let's see if it works anyway. Okay, one half minus two thirds end up at negative one six. That seems seems right. Three six minus. Uh, 4 6 gives you a negative 1 6. Uh, all right, and so that completes our fraction class.